I don't think stick fighting is real. Now, when I say that, this is a real stick, I can really fight with it. I don't think Filipino martial arts practice realistic stick fighting. But I'm open to have my mind changed. I'm more open to being right. So, I brought Ed from Metrolina Martial Arts in to show me maybe I'm wrong about stick fighting, but I'm probably not. So, Ed, welcome to my gym. Teach me something. <laughs> Okay, uh, we're just gonna do a simple in and out drill. Um, the first one is, is, we call it the the five count. So it's high ikis and then high bow and high pull through. Once more, okay? So the idea here is we're just doing a simple X pattern and then we come into the same line and we go for the knee and then go back for the head. To attack by drawing on that line, if I'm here and I go, I really wanna sell that to get to the high line. The X is just standard practice to get you used to swinging the stick in, in, a, okay, in, a, in a method that is sword-esque. Um, depending on who you talk to, Kali is either a stick art or a sword art or something in between. And I'm of the opinion now it's a stick art because that's all you see, right? You don't do sword competitions, you do stick competitions, right? You don't do um, sword flows, you do stick flows. So it, it is a battle of semantics here. I don't want to be anti-semantic, but yes. I would argue Kali is not a stick fighting art, not a sword fighting art, it's a wrestling art. Okay. Again, this is great, mm -hmm. this is wonderful. You're very good at it, you're better at it than I am. Do it when I'm running at you this fast. Right, that's my point. And that's inherently the problem, is because if I have the stick, that can translate very simply to the knife. If we turn it over and pretend it's a knife, we can do the same motions. Not that we ever freaking would, but it is ideal. But you can also do it with the hand. Not that you do fight like this. And if you do, please hit me up. Teach us. Yeah. <laughs> if, you, if you could kick someone's ass like this. Yeah, then... like, Ro like Rock Lee here, um, then please. Uh, there is actually a lot of wrestling in Kali, in Panatukan. Um, or Shutakun, depending on who you hear it from, um, that actually permeates with the stick and also without. So if we use the five count as a means of closing the distance, and then I'm here and I open as I step in, now we're in a much closer range. And this is where the wrestling kind of takes in. When he comes in and starts what's called hubud, which is a classic drill taught with the stick and everywhere. Like if you have done Filipino Kali or Nisa Strema, you've done some version of this, whether it be with the stick or with just the hand or whatever. So, how does this translate? If I Judy chop, he blocks, and then he gets the raise here, and now it's here. Now this is how you teach it in the beginning, is with a knife hand, and it comes in. Good. But in reality, you can train it more like I'm trying to get the clinch. And he does the same. Boom. And once he gets it, now I'm here. But Huba doesn't stop there. Now it swims on the inside. Oh, so Bong yes. Sao then. Bong Sao, Pong Sao. Yes. Oh. Yeah, I do know Wing Chun. Yeah. But this is college. Then it goes here counterclockwise. Mm -hmm. Boom. 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 Yes, or just go to the biceps. Yeah. Boom. That's it. And then I don't like that. Here, you can wipe it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Grab here. Boom. And this. Looks like weird wrestling, but this is all college. Yeah. And it's all in this range. And you could do it with the stick. It's just different ranges. If I strike here and he blocks it with his hand because it's too close, don't block sticks with your hands, folks. Then he brings it up with his stick here. I can stop it before he can get it to me. Or if he strikes the angle one, everyone's angle one, no matter who what art. See, this is angle one. Okay. If I use the angle one, I can come here, he'll stop it. Boom, it's just all permutation of different types of wrestling crap. Sure. So, while I agree, stick fighting doesn't really exist for a couple reasons. One is, if you have a stick and you're fighting me, where did I get my stick from? Yeah. Like, am I gonna just run off a tree? Hold on one second. That's always my argument with people that are like, I carry both of my bastons, two knives, and a nine millimeter. 
That's a little overkill. If I don't let you get <laughs> to your Nightwing sticks, yeah. when are you going to get to everything else? Because all I'm doing at this point is beating your brains out. Yeah. Especially if I see you reaching for them. There is a bit of a saying, and I don't know how real it is. You can correct me. You probably know more than I do. Is that sometimes if you are carrying certain types of weapons, many of them, you're certainly, you might be asking for more trouble. Yes. Like, Let me ask you this. Let me yeah. ask you this. Okay. I'm walking down the street. Okay. I am open carrying. Okay. I've also got a hip holstered knife. Uh huh. A back holstered knife. Okay. I'm also tap out tatted to the gills, right? Okay. Do you feel safer with me walking around you? No. Cut to me now, walking with just jeans and a t-shirt. Yeah, that's... Are you aware that I'm a professional MMA fighter that chokes people out for a living? No. Like, which one do you think is actually the bad guy? Yeah, exactly. The guy who's walking around like the Punisher. Yes, yeah. Like, guy. He sure. could be the greatest guy of all time. Yeah. I'm not talking to him. No, because, yeah. because that's real self-defense, right? Correct. Ed and I filmed another video earlier. You talked about the different ranges of combat Correct. and how you don't believe that the disengaged range actually exists, right? Correct, yeah. It doesn't in fighting. Right. Because in fighting, my goal is not to be disengaged. My goal is to engage. To be in, yes. Right? In self-defense... It's the most important range. This is disengaged. Yes. You take a step towards me, I take a step away from you, right? right? If we're fighting. If, yeah. if I don't like you, if, I feel, if my gut tells me something's bad, yeah. I don't want to get any closer to you. I don't let you get closer to me, right? Yes. I'm keeping you at this range. The minute you take a step closer to me, we're now fighting. Correct. I should know that we're fighting, right? Yes. In this case, my goal is either get farther away right. or take the fight to you. Yeah. But if I'm training in a martial art or training for a fight, I can't spend too much time here. No. We talked about everyday carry being a tool more yes. than a weapon, right? Yeah. This is also a tool for me more than a weapon. Okay. There's only three types of combat. Okay. You're either striking, mm -hmm. grappling, mm -hmm. or wrestling. Okay. Those are those three things. And, then, and every single martial art is concerned with how good they're teaching you one of those three things, right? Mm -hmm. In this scenario, I am teaching you wrestling, stand-up wrestling, to some degree. You might not know it, and that might be the problem, mm -hmm. but I am teaching it to you. Because like we say with the hubud, now we're here. We're actually not really doing this. We're going to here, right? Yeah. Bunkai is the same thing. Karate bunkai is the same thing, right? You're here. Boom, right? Mm -hmm. That's teaching me clinching. Right. I think Muay Thai is the most effective at teaching you that because they just teach you that. Yeah, they go right? right. They just right into it. That's what we're doing. Right, right here. Right away. Mm -hmm. I, mean, I would say also catch wrestling is good, but nobody does catch wrestling. Unfortunately. Right? But those are the most effective ways to learn wrestling. However, this Nightwing shit is the most fun way to learn it. That's key. This is super key. And, and not only is it fun, it's engaging the mind. Mm -hmm. it's, it's more than just swing a stick. Right. Right. Like the, the one thing that I think a lot of people look at when we do a flow drill, a swim only drill, like this. Yeah, okay. It doesn't really have a 100% application to everything. However, it works your brain. You're like, okay, I gotta make sure that I'm pulling through. Okay, on this one I don't pull through, and on that one I do pull through. And now, okay, now you're getting a little baby of a workout with a squat on that one. Boom. Or you could do, instead of a squat, you could do a lunge. Yeah, or instead, you could be lazy, that's what I do. Yeah. Right, but you're still working your mind. The, the, they say Kali is the art of the old, and it doesn't mean that it's the oldest martial art. It means that you can age with it. Right. Right, like, I, and, and I don't mean this disparagingly to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I love it, but some of the older athletes in it are beat up. Especially, really, MMA is really the killer, but like, not killer, but it is a very painful martial art to live through. And striking is also has its problems. Yeah. This doesn't have as many problems. It does, right? Like, I do have pain in my elbow from swinging a weapon, but... I You're gonna have pain doing any, anything, anything ever. Right? Anything physical. But, like, if you look at the practitioners of Kali, Guru Dana Santos in his 80s, um, you know, John Lacoste lived until, I believe, his 70s. Like, all of these Kali masters are ancient. Yeah. <laughs> and they're still good. Still fluid. And that's what I think you can take away from it. Not only is it fun, you can do this when you're 80. Yeah. And you can't say that with a lot of martial arts. You know what you can do your entire life? Hmm. Just martial arts. Mm-hmm. I... I have little respect for the guy who did Shotokan from the time he was eight to the time that he's 78. Yeah. Because he has a very narrow view of what martial arts are. Sure. And he's like, you know, he's walking towards you and he's like, mm, I'm gonna punch you now because I can't move my body, right? Yeah. Same thing with Jiu-Jitsu, Jiu -Jitsu, probably more, yeah. right? Because they're just like, they're married to it. Yes. It's like, you know what? When I can't turn my hips anymore, yeah. throw a straight right, Yeah. maybe it's time to start using a stick, maybe, play with yeah. something else. 
when I don't like doing this anymore, maybe it's time to do judo. Maybe it's time to do whatever. Yes. You can always practice martial arts. Correct. Maybe you can't practice hard martial arts. Maybe you can't practice soft martial arts. Maybe, yeah. But I will say one last thing. Yeah. I really like this because, like you said, it expands your mind. Yes. We talked about just that last piece, the drop that we were doing here. Oh, yeah. Like you said, it gets the face to come back up top, right? Yes. In sparring, I will constantly do this. Oh, I mean, whole video that. There to come there. Bang. Exactly that, right? Yeah. But also in sparring, and you'll like this, I also do a lot of. Yeah. Right? It's the exact same thing, right? Yes. But in this case, I do it the other way, right? I come here, boom, boom. And then it goes wrong. So think about all the tools we just talked about. This being a stick. Yes. Or it being a knife. Right. Or it being a clinch fight. Right. Or it being even a haymaker, right? Yeah. That is self defense right there. Yeah. Same thing. Or it being a tool for grappling. Right. Different ranges. Mm hmm. Because I'm able, because you're, you taught me, because we have all these tools and we're able to see, it's not the thing that we're doing, mm -hmm. it's the concept that's teaching us. That's what we need to take away from what we're playing with. Not, 100%. What we're playing with, right? We're playing with something. We're not fighting like that. Not a fight. All that being said, I still don't think stick fighting exists, but I don't think it was ever meant to. Right. I think people smarter than me realize I can teach a lot with just this. Mm -hmm turns into that, turns into whatever, right? Mm -hmm. So, if you come at me and say that I don't know shit about FMA, I'm pretty sure I'm the best there ever was at it. I think I am Daniel Santo. Oh, wow! <laughs> Ed, thanks for coming out, thanks for teaching me. I Thank really you. appreciate fucking whatever. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Anyway. <laughs> If you like this video, if you want to see more of it, if you want to see more collaborations between me and Ed, be sure to like, share, comment, subscribe to my channel and this video. Thank you guys for all the hard work. Thank you for the hard work get to be done. And I'll see you next time.